Hello, Miss. Hola, Alza. Hola, Alza. Hi there. Uh, no, not yet. Mm. Who is Guzma one team? But... Catherine is here. Uh, hello there, Guzma Wanti. Who are you? Hi, Miss. This is Anata. Oh, okay. Hi, Anata. Your name is. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't changed your names. So I was like, who is there? <laughs> it's my mom's Zoom. Ah, I see. Ding, 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 ding. Let's get everyone, please turn on your video so I can see your expressions, whether you understand or not. Okay. Hi, Catherine. Feeling well? Feeling well. <laughs> Got that sunshine on my Sunday. Sorry. Hi, Tiro. Hi, Miss. There you go. What did you eat last session? Ah, uh, uh, chicken. Chicken? I thought you were at the seafood place. Yeah, but I eat chicken. <laughs> okay. So you ate chicken indeed. Hmm. Okay, so Nata and Chiro, you were not here in the first session where the other learners distributed what they wanted to learn. Now, you are probably wondering why is it that we are doing the hardest part of writing for the first writing session? <laughs> Let's ask Aza and Catherine. Please tell your reason why you chose the hardest writing session for our first writing session. Let me solve. What is it, Catherine? Aza? Like, I can hear you well. Seriously, you cannot hear me well? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. How about now? Still no? Yes. Okay. I can figure it out right now. Right now. Right now. Okay. So I don't have to use another gadget. Hi, Christine. Hi, Miss. Uh, if you cannot hear me well, please raise your hand so I know who's not hearing it well. Maybe I should use another gadget. Nobody? Catherine? Is it? Going well now? Yes, it's already well. Okay. Thank you, Miss. So, uh, Nata, Christine, and Chiro, unit four writing is the most difficult part in our book. Uh, Aza and Catherine are going to tell you why we decided to do the most difficult writing now and not in the last session. Aza, Catherine, please tell the reason. Mm, okay. Because I think for the first time we must work hard and later we just chill <laughs> because the lesson is easy. So I think that we chose the hardest part for the beginning lesson, for beginning session for us. Yeah. Hey, there you go. So don't be confused. Don't wonder why. Because it is very difficult to produce a five paragraph essay, an argumentative five paragraph essay, but don't worry. I'm going to pair you up with a classmate so you don't have to do it alone. I know it's difficult. Mm. So hi Rama, hi Alia, hi Kena, hi Gita, hi Vidya. Okay, there you go. So you already got where the thesis statement is, what do you think is in the thesis statement? Is it just a random sentence? What should you put in the thesis statement? Um, uh, my idea. What is it, Rama? We cannot hear you well. My, my main idea is... Exactly. Your main idea, what else?
Anything else besides a main idea? Let's check the example in your book. Yes. Okay. What is the main idea of the thesis statement? Is, uh, food insecurity and rising unemployment. Thank you, Rama. Those are the main idea, food insecurity and rising unemployment. And then you also have this part. What do you think this one is? Hmm. <coughs> so the explanation. thesis um, almost an explanation of what? Oh main um, idea. Mm, no, not the main idea. That's actually the explanation of your opinion to the matter, okay? So when you see food insecurity and rising unemployment, you may not think that they are problems. Maybe they are not problems for you, but for this writer, they are two problems that have altered societies. So these are Sorry, this is the, the opinion, the writer's opinion of the topic. Okay. Now, if you already have that thesis statement, what do you do in the body paragraph? Um. Check this one out. What's the first main idea? Food insecurity. Food insecurity, exactly. So the first body paragraph is talking about the rapid population growth. Exactly. So the first body paragraph is talking about the first main idea, food insecurity. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the second uh, body paragraph about? In general, as the population rapidly grows, no? no. What is it about? Supporting detail. Mm -hmm. Supporting detail about? About. Check this one out. You said the population. Mm. Yes. Nope, sorry. Rising unemployment. Thank you, there you go. Rising unemployment. You said there are two main ideas. The food insecurity and rising unemployment. That's why in the body paragraph, we talk about those two. The rapid, oh, sorry, food insecurity. And this one, it talks about, i so sorry. Rising unemployment. So is the number of jobs created to serve the economy, but this is not always true. Okay, rapid unemployment, uh, rising unemployment. There you go. And what's the last paragraph? Concluding sentence. Yes. Conclude, uh, concluding sentence or concluding paragraph? Concluding paragraph. Concluding paragraph. Thank you, there you go. The last one is the concluding paragraph, okay. And what's the concluding sentence? In brief, as we currently draw closer towards with these problems that we are facing. There you go. There are no doubt that constraint about action must be taken to solve. Mm. Check this one out. This one is talking about these problems. What are the problems? The, the rapid population growth. Yeah. Uh, uh, and rising unemployment. 
plan, rising unemployment, and food insecurity. Security. Security. So, all in all, the thesis statement is here. And you just have to restate that for your concluding sentence. See, with these problems. What problem? See, are two problems that have altered societies. These are just three statements. You are saying the thesis statement one more time. Let me hang on, hang on. Did I have someone? No, everyone is already in this room. Okay. So the thesis statement and the concluding sentence are actually the same. They just have different words. Okay, got it? Yes? No? Mm. Now, how many paragraphs does this essay have? Four. 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 Okay. When you have five paragraphs essay, what will be, what do you have in those paragraphs? The first one is, yeah. so sorry, I'm going to turn off my, <laughs> the WhatsApp is bothering me. Okay. So what's the first paragraph? If you have five paragraphs essay. Introduction. The introduction. And then the second one. This is not the um, introduction paragraph, and then so body, the body, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, body paragraph three, and then concluding, concluding paragraphs. Paragraph. So, how many main ideas do you have then? Three. Thank you, well done. If you have three body paragraphs, it means that you're going to talk about or you're going to write about three things. If you only have two things, then you just have four paragraphs because one should be the, the introductory paragraph, one should be the concluding paragraph, okay? Now let's check this one out. Everyone, please check your book one more time. We'll go to this part. When we talk about argumentative paragraph, you need to investigate a topic. So you cannot just say your opinions without backing it up or backing them up with logical reasons and evidence, okay? Why do we talk about argumentative paragraphs, uh, sorry, argumentative essays so much? Because by the end of general, uh, how do I say this, general, Wait, 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 I forget the, the name of your program. General English <laughs> for Adults, Higher Intermediate 2. There you go, I stopped before. Okay, you will make or you will write your own argumentative essay and you are going to defend that essay in front of your classmates and the proctors. So that's why we put so much effort in understanding an argumentative essay and in writing one. Okay. Check out this thesis statement. It needs to be clear, concise. What is concise anyway? Uh, Can somebody uh, tell me what concise is? Uh, can I can I use bahasa? Mm, no. So sorry. Uh, eh, mm, uh, wait, 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 wait. Your answer is yes. Go on. Short. Short. There Shorter. you go. Shorter. If you can say it in three words, don't go to 10 words to say it. For example, if you can say something like this, um, 
I would say uh, seeing your face is important. Seeing your face is important. Five words, right? That's strict, uh, straight to the point. Seeing your face is important. You don't have to say it something like this. Whenever I don't see your face, <laughs> I cannot tell what is important for myself. The meanings are the same. Whenever I don't see your face, I cannot tell what is important uh, for myself. But one is straight to the point. Seeing your face is important. One is going round and round and round. Okay, so this is what we're going to learn to make today. A clear and concise topic. Uh, topic. This is statement. Uh, I'm going to put you into, how many groups do we have? 12 people, four groups. Okay, four groups. It means that there will be three people in one group. Please write a clear and concise thesis statement. Remember, this statement is only one sentence. Do not make it into two or three sentences. Only one sentence. Clear and concise thesis statement. And our topic is about social media. Your choice for the debate last session. Mm, there you go. Please make a clear and concise thesis statement for social media is harmful for blah, 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 blah. Okay. Remember, if you only put one main idea, it means that you are going to have only one body paragraph. If you are putting two, two body paragraphs, so on and so on. Okay, do you have any questions? No? It's just mm. a sentence, right? Mm -mm. But, not, but yeah. no, not body paragraphs. But yeah. this uh -huh. sentence, needs to explain about your whole essay. That's the point of this statement. Okay, one sentence mm -hmm. to summarize the whole essay. Okay, when I read your thesis statement, I will know how many body paragraphs that you will write about and what they are about. Okay, so I know it's not going to be easy, that's why we need to practice, okay? So four people, three participants in a room, please be active in your discussion. You have, how many minutes do you need? Seven minutes? Mm, Don't tell me 15. Okay, I'll give nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nine minutes, go on then everyone. Please create a, a clear and conci concis concise topic. This is statement.
the cost causing causing both causing pros and contra in society society ah Anna huh <laughs> causing pros causing and cons in society the using of social media social media are, causing. are causing pros and cons menimbulkan itu Mental illness and and personal securities. Uh, yeah, do you agree? Well, I agree with anything opinion, but it's still confused with uh to me a little bit. Yeah, personal security is <laughs> Okay, we can use Chiro's this is statement. Yes, yes. Yeah, I agree. Also check for spelling and grammar, everyone. Yes, miss. Okay, welcome back everyone. Oh no, R room three, <laughs> they're still having discussion. Okay, room two, two. Uh, room four, uh, Catherine, Rere, and Chiro, because you have 
all of you have come back to the main session. Please type your thesis statement here. Okay, please type your thesis. Where are the others anyway? Okay, now everybody is back. Uh, room one, Dio, Gita, Kena, please type your thesis statement, one of you, on my screen. Room two, Aza, Alia, and Vidya, please type your thesis statement on my screen. Room three, Christine, Nata, and Rama, please type it. Room four, Catherine, Rere, and Chiro, please type it. Mm. Mm. Please uh, write your room. What room are you? For Miss. Please type it there, Catherine. <coughs> room four. There you go, room four. Room one, two, three. Hey, Catherine, you missed the punctuation. <laughs> what punctuation oh. did you miss? This is not a sentence, by the way. Period. Period, thank you. Please add a period in your sentence. Gita, your... This statement is not a sentence. Why? You're missing something. Capitalization. Thank you, capitalization. There you go. Sorry, ma'am. I just, I type it in the Zoom chat, so it, there's no capitalization. Uh, mostly people using, mm, this is the deal. When you're talking about thesis statement, it is usually in the present tense. Oh, most people. Most people use. Use Twitter for Twitter writing. Capitalize for writing comments anonymously, which, now, no it, which oh, can is. Us, oh, which can be, sorry. Where's the, where's your group opinion though? This is only stating the fact. Check out room four. Uh, Catherine, you need to add period to your sentence. Yes. How, to, how to edit my text? You cannot edit. You just have to add a text. <laughs> add a period. Okay. Uh, check this one out from room four. Social media is harmful. Their opinion, this is harmful. What are they going to put in their body paragraphs? Room four, you can also answer. What are you going to have in your body paragraph? I know the harm of social media on mental and physical health. There you go. So. The first body paragraph will be about mental health. Yeah. Mental health. The second body paragraph will be about physical health. Physical health. It means that you are going to have four paragraphs. Okay. Only two body paragraphs mental health and physical health. There you go. Thank you, room four. This is clear and concise. Uh, room one, you need to edit your. Uh, this is statement. I'm going to delete this so you can edit your this is statement. Room two, let's check. The use of social media are causing pros and cons in our society. Um, okay, but what's the opinion of your group? Room two. By the way, where is room three anyway? Room three, you haven't typed anything. Wait, wait, 
Wait. Uh, process. Wait, miss. Process. Wait. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Remember, opinion is usually using an adjective. So, for example, harmful. That's an opinion. Mm. You can say something like this, room two. The use of social media are causing big or huge pros and cons. Huge is your opinion. Maybe other people don't think it's a huge problem. But for your team or your group, it is a huge problem. That's the opinion. Okay. I'm going to delete this so you can edit yours. Room two. So far, okay. room four got the thesis statement. Room one, two, three. I still need your thesis statement. Room four, if you want to make it into five paragraphs, what else can you put in your um, body paragraph or your main idea? Social media is harmful for our mental, physical, and Room four. I'm challenging you because you already finished. So, Catherine, Rere, Chiro. What other physical, uh, what other health do you need? Mental, physical. Catherine, Rere, and Chiro. They're not. Why did we have to finish first? Now we have an extra task to do. I cannot believe this. Wait, Miss. But for the room one, do we need to have to revise our sentences, right? Yep. Put your opinion. Okay, wait. Use present I'll tense. Write. Room three. Social media is the most reliable and... Uh, wait, wait. What is available? <laughs> jing, 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 jing. Pay attention to your... Uh, Spelling and punctuation, capitalization also. Did you mean available? Room three? Who's in room three? Christine, Nata, Rama? Did you mean I available? Promise. Yes, available. Okay, so means of community which promotes interpersonal and society has negative impacts on mental health, privacy, security, and Okay, check this one out. Um, which one is the opinion of your group, Rama, Kristin, and Nata? Has negative impacts. Has negative impacts, okay. This is also your group's opinion, the most reliable and available. I seriously don't think social media is the most reliable. <laughs> but if your group thinks so, it's your opinion, no problem. Okay. And what is going to be the body paragraphs? There are three. They are? Three paragraphs. What are they? Mental health, mm -hmm. privacy, security, and addiction. Thank you. There you go. So you already have the main ideas and you already have your opinion. Negative impacts. There. Thank you, room three. Room one, check this one out. Okay, let's check room one. Yeah, room three. Your thesis statement is not a sentence. What's missing in your thesis statement? 
just like room four earlier. A sentence is not a sentence without a period. Please put a period in your sentence. Period, full stop, titik. Okay, room one. Most people use Twitter to write comments anonymously, which can lead the user into cyberbullying, cyberbullying, and causing bad impacts to our mental health. Okay, let's check. What's your group's opinion? Room one, Gita, who else? Dio, Gita, and Kena. What's the, the opinion of your group? Uh, since people often post the comments that they don't even think that mm -hmm. the no, no. impact has from your oh, thesis sorry. statement from your thesis st oh. statement which one is the group's opinion uh that which can lead the user into cyberbullying and causing bad impacts to our mental health this one bad impacts okay bad, bad impact because uh, bad is an adjective, it is very, uh, not everyone will think it is bad, but your group think it's bad. Now let's talk about the body paragraph. Which ones would be the body paragraph? About the comments and mental health, the con 